midday, busy doing just piles of stuff. Cleaning up after the storm. I wanna show you guys something interesting to me, maybe interesting to you guys. So look at this here. Now, there. I mean, do you see how fast that's running? That's pretty fast, I mean, for this little area here. So, back here, and then right there, coming from here to here, so. You have to kind of see, so, when working out your, oh, come on camera, down. When working out the property, uh, drainage, especially for these high rain times, you can really start to see gaps and problems when that happens. And this is a big problem. This is something that I actually need to resolve. Because look here, even if I just step in these spots, this whole area is just a soggy mess. And it flows. You know? So, gravity tells us everything about water. And the water tells us everything about the land. Gravity tells us where water goes. Water tells us how the land is working. So see here, this ditch. If we wonder about where that water line is, how much water is in there, and sort of do a, a pan across. If I were to put some color in this water, I bet that color would come out over here because I know I built the place. There's a pipe under here. <clears throat> now, I don't think I knew how shallow it might be, but it is obviously so full over there that it's come up to ground level here instead of draining out somewhere over here, under there somewhere. To be continued, I have to resolve this. This can't be, we can't have this. <laughs> Thanks a lot, rain. It's pretty beautiful today though. Nice blue sky. All right. I don't know where I'm gonna stick this in the video. It's probably some drainage video of some sorts to talk about this. So. Uh, no problem. Resolvable. Okay, continuing our drainage problem here. As you can see, it's running pretty quick. I've dug a little ditch along here, over to here, because this is a drain point in here. It's all just big rock and little rock in there. So the water goes to here and it's gonna continue down through there into there. And this is some pretty muddy water right now. Um, so if we give it, say, five minutes or something, and travel along our regular drainage dish. Now it doesn't mean that I've solved the problem just yet, because look here, still running pretty good. So here's a few facts about drainage. I'm gonna head down to the back and talk about it. The water level of the land is the water level of the land. You can put your drainage below that all you want. It won't matter because the water level of the whole land is high. So here we're at the exit point here. And uh, it shouldn't be too long. I mean, look at how fast that's going. There's a lot of water leaving the property, right? And it shouldn't be long before this starts to really cloud up. In fact, it already looks like it's getting cloudy. So the water that's going down at the back is already sort of traveling down this way there. Yeah, it's got pretty cloudy. So, oh there, it wasn't, it's not, not clear like that anymore. So we do know that the water 
uh, there goes to here nicely. So that's good. But the water level of the land, if we come down kind of low here, it's not going to be, it shouldn't be any different here than over that way. So how do you fix problems like this? Well, you can make ditches and you can make better pipes to, to get water to, to get moving off better. But even still, if the water level of this whole land here is too high, well, you're not going to have a lot of luck. So two, two approaches here that I have to take. One, I have to get a, a better drainage here for the days that it rains like crazy. And two, I gotta raise this up a little bit so that it gets above that level a little bit more. So, time to make a phone call. Okay, and uh, also I'll be getting on with the arena. So, there you go guys. Horse property maintenance, you have to keep up on this stuff. I mean, this is unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. You can't, can't have it. It's got to be organized, well managed, like these guys here. You know, there's a, there's a pipe that goes right through here, and there's a pipe that goes in front of the paddock. So this stays dry, which it is. So this stays dry, which it is. One more section to go. I'm not overly surprised. I half expected it. But now it's time to deal with it. Right there is where the water's coming up from. So that's, I don't know if you call it a weak point, but it's definitely the point that has the least amount of resistance uh, from, the, uh, from the ground. So that's cool as it sort of clears out the silt. It'll get cleaner and cleaner. And uh, so that's running fast. So the good thing about that, with the speed that water is coming out, because that's pretty significant, we should start to see big changes. Hi Peggy, who's a thirsty horse today? This way a little bit. Oh, there's so much water here. You should be able to see a significant draw in here. And uh, maybe even some flow somewhere in here. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But uh, this whole area here should come down. If I were to mark it and then come back in an hour, let's see, what should we mark it by? here and we'll put it say right there like that and that's the edge of the water there so and we'll make a marker like so Let's get, do that and then in an hour oops, on camera in an hour hi biggie again So right, right there, that little thing there, that stick there, right in the middle. So we'll see how far this water goes down, because it's still draining in pretty quick. Ah, this whole video is just going to be drainage. But figuring this stuff out when you've got land is really super important. We want the water level to be low as possible. So you can see it's still running pretty good, but not too much. There, coming out of there, coming out of that spot there, and so on and so forth. Okay, to be continued. Okay, it's been about, uh, I'd say, 20 minutes or so. As you can see, the water level is going down. I'm not sure entirely 
exactly where it's drawing into along here. Irrelevant either way. What we do want to know, or what I want you guys to see, whew, and this stuff's hard work, you know. You gotta move earth. The water's heavy too. But check this out. I've let it kind of sit for a bit. Dug the little ditch a little bit better. Um, we still have a puddle here. Naturally so, that's where the uh, water level is at in the ground. But check this out. Isn't that cool? It's just bubbling up from down there. Flowing. Still flowing from that direction a bit too. You can see from the silt. So, yeah. But off it goes, I dug out around here, here. I'm gonna do a better job of this, but it's hard to do when it's all wet. Come around here, I can't seem to get deep enough to get to the pipe. So I just dug out and off it goes down this way. And essentially, down into the drain. So, pretty muddy water. This should be, uh, see otherwise you have a problem like this where the water has carved a big spot in there. And uh, as we can see, the back, pretty silty. So we do know that it's flowing pretty good out of here. I have to say that's almost going faster. More water, lots more water, all leaving and going down there. So. Okay, that, uh, that ends drainage and, and the rule, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the rule is, Oh, there's a car. Hmm. Uh, the rule is gravity... Uh, probably just turn it around. Gravity tells you we'll, we'll have water go in the, the way it's going to go and the water will tell you the level of the ground. So we can see that we've got indentations here, 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 here. It's lower than there kind of idea. So. Uh, yeah, nature's grade indicator. Indicates the grade of the land. Indicates low spot, it's nature's level. So I think I'll do a little bit more here, but um, hopefully that's uh, an interesting sort of thing to see that uh, if you didn't have a property, a piece of property or something, um, you might not see it, but water levels will be water levels. There's no way of getting around that. Water is gonna find the path of least resistance. So that's what I've given it here by opening this up and allowing it to flow up a little quicker and go away as fast as it can. So in the end I will be putting, I'll dig this down when the water's gone, it's too much trouble to do it when it's wet. Um, I'll dig this down probably about a foot, give it a big gap, put in some cloth uh, and I'll bring you guys through that. I've done videos about this before. Inside goes a little bit of drainage rock, then pipe, then lots of drainage rock and uh, that makes a nice free way for this water to go and I'll improve whatever this mess is over here when that day comes. Okay, that's it for now.